Hey everyone, Matsuo in the mic again for another interview, this time with Arctic Gaming. Benji, how are you doing today? Yeah, hi all everyone. Um, I'm pretty fine. What's about you? I'm also fine. I'm happy to have you here. It's really important for me to have you here. You made us pop off at last Orcus with your Wario, so I wanted to talk about that. Your Wario has been doing wonders at the last tournament with those stocks, even the stock. It wasn't at uh, Orcus, but that stock against Axe, where everyone will remember it. You are a really high player. Okay, you yeah. remember it too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, you are a really good player here in Switzerland, but last PR, you weren't in the top 10. Is it something that you are aiming for? Because your last placements have been showing pretty good involvement. At the last uh, two Smash Castles, you were 7th and 5th, if I'm not mistaken. How do you feel around that? Do you feel that you can aim for those top 10 spots, even maybe the top 5? How do you feel about the PR? Okay, um, yeah, definitely, for sure. The thing was, uh, I was like Destiny told in, the, in another interview uh, in military, and that influenced me pretty hard, I think, mindset-wise. I, I always had the fear, like, losing to people I should lose to. So, um, with that, uh, it's kind of the reason though, why I didn't get top 10 last season, I think. But I still think I can push myself to a limit where I can be better mindset-wise to get top 7, top 5, top 3, I don't know. Takes time, but uh, I think with a lot of efficient play and grinding sessions, I will be able to do that. So I'm still looking at the point where I can do that. Okay, really nice to see that you're still confident in going for that. That's maybe not your play, but your mindset. So kind of looking something different for that. Also the military. We know here in Switzerland, the military affects a lot of people and gamers, especially when you miss a whole season because of that, man, it's tough. It's really tough. But I'm happy yeah. that you were able to get through that and actual being able to play really well now. So I'm happy to see you in these conditions. The mm -hmm. other question Thank is, you. We know military is a problem. Well, now our problem that everyone is having is quarantine. Well, quarantine has been gone. Tournaments have been brought back. Offline is no more. Well, kind of. There still is offline. How do you feel coming back to these tournaments offline and not force handily always have to go on online? How do you feel about that? Do you feel confident coming back to these tournaments? Um, I really enjoyed the fun time playing online again, like in quarantine. But it doesn't fit my place because I went to an offline turn after this whole quarantine. I was like really missing my inputs because of any delay of online shit and things like that. It was like really annoying. And um, But I still did uh, take something with me during this quarantine while I really analyzed some sets, pushed me back because of this military scene like I really wanted to come back and now I'm in the moment where I really want to show this to every guy in Switzerland. So I still grind it pretty hard, I think. So keep it up, guys. Or uh, yeah. <laughs> That's nice to hear. There's a lot of players that felt that difference between the online that even your combos, you don't play them differently. On Warrior, it's very important because you have some really long strings that you have to pull off and online could have changed your... How do you how do you come muscle memory and your habits playing those combos? So I hope that they're back for next Orcus because the next question is also about next Orcus. Last time you were eliminated by PG in uh, loser semis. I wanted to ask you, how did you feel about that? Because you had beaten him in pools. Was it something about the mindset? Do you think that this time if it was only the mindset this time you'll be able to bring it back if you come against him again because you were able to even beat destiny and sending him to losers at that tournament we were thinking you were gonna pop off you had just been destiny you were like holy shit the the top ranked player he's down who's next to go yeah sure that always pushes me like if i be the better player it's like i should go for it like hard hard but the thing is uh, i don't really like snake I really don't like it, so it has a big influence on my mindset. And the thing was, like, in pools, I was like, where I won against PG first, uh, I was like, yeah, we, I'm, I'm just gonna do my best. So I'm, I'm, I felt there uh, way um, more comfortable in the matchup. And 
yeah, it worked out for me, so I won in pools. But later on, uh, it counted because I wasn't losing. It was way more pressure there. So uh, that was the thing with I don't like Snake. So I'm still struggling with this character. I need to go over something because Warrior isn't that bad against Snake. But I, but I really grinded that matchup over and over. It still doesn't fit like I want to, but uh, I'm still working on it and I'm looking forward if I met any snake again. So I have to calm my down mindset wise so that I can, uh, um, how can I say that, uh, avoid all these nades, all this shit is flying around <laughs> you. Like, it's, yeah, it's really annoying for me, but even though I have a good, uh, good opportunity to before I to play against snake, but I have to learn. So I'm really looking forward for any matches like these again, especially at Orcus, maybe I don't know. <laughs> well, Orcus, there are a few snake players, especially here in Switzerland. We have Everybody. really good snake players. <laughs> Kepler breathing down this side, PG breathing down this side. You feel the pressure, but I'm sure you can get through it. We saw it at the last time pools, you were able to get it through, get that mindset through. You are a really good player, and I hope we'll get to see some really sick plays from you at the next Orcus. Thank you very much for, for being here for this interview, man. Thank you as well. And see you on Saturday, the 22nd of August. Everyone also listening this interview, we'll see you there in Twitch chat. Bye, guys.